Okay, so today's video, we're going to be looking at some alternative destinations for the random gate that we talked about last time. Uh, we can send it to the filter, we can send it to oscillators, but I've got something really special at the end I want you to check out. So we're going to introduce a new module called the Q128 electronic switch. It's a very simple module, but yet very powerful. So let's dive in. Okay, in this example, we're going to take our random gate, send it to an envelope generator, and we're going to run that envelope generator to one of our oscillators to control the pulse width. And this is going to sound like this. So we're controlling the pulse width here. We can control the amount. play with the envelope. We're going to introduce another module we haven't talked about and that's the Q128 switch. This is an electronic switch that can be controlled by pushing a button. It can be controlled by plugging a foot switch into the control and using a foot switch or you can control it with a gate. So what I want to do today is take our random gate and run it into the control input of this switch. But um, let me show you what we're gonna do. So you know how you can take the output of an oscillator and modulate another oscillator with that output? What kind of sound do you get? Let me open up the voice here. You get that gravelly type of sound. So what we're going to do is we're going to run the output of the first oscillator through the switch and then into the second oscillator so that we can switch on that gravelly sound or that frequency modulated sound. I'm going to keep this switch with our random gate. So I'll plug that in and let's see what that sounds like. Okay, in this example, I'm taking the ADSR output and moving it over to the filter. So we're going to kind of spike the filter with the additional ADSR. So the filter already has one ADSR from the regular clock coming from the sequencer, but we're going to add one from the random gate controlling an ADSR. So we'll get this effect. Okay, so we're going to do some sequencer ratcheting, but we're going to do it in a random fashion using the random gate technique that we learned a video or two ago. So random gates, we're taking the noise, which is a random voltage source, running it through the sample and hold so that we can make it hit on the beat, and then we're using the comparator so we can adjust how fast or how slow the random gates occur. And we're going to take that random gate and we're going to send it to an envelope generator for the voice that's being triggered by the sequencer. So what we're doing a little different here is I've got the gate math involved, these two wires here. So the purple wire is the clock of the sequencer. The yellow wire is twice the frequency. And so we're using the Q128 switch. And so let's see what that sounds like. being generated by our random gate set up with three modules. And if I turn the threshold of the comparator up higher, we get fewer gates. And then if I lower it, it hits a lot more frequently. Thank you. 
Okay, well that was awesome. I love that sound. So I did mention briefly of the gate math and we haven't looked at that yet. So that's gonna be coming up. Appreciate you guys coming around and checking out the videos. If you're getting anything from them, uh, hit the like button, share it with your friends and we'll see you next time.